How's it going guys? Davey here from phonebook.com and in this video I want to show you how to use a file explorer or file manager app on your Android phone. So as you can see I've already downloaded and installed a ES file explorer app from Google Play. So this guy is available for free. There's also other ones like Astro File Manager but for the purpose of this video I'm just going to use this one as the example. And um, an analogy I like to make with this file manager or file explorer apps on Android is it's kind of like your you know my computer or um, otherwise Windows Explorer on your computer at home. Basically you can edit all your folders and the files within them uh, through this app. So one example I like to use is actually my uh, voice recording app. So you can see I have all these voice recordings right here. But this particular app doesn't let me delete my voice recordings uh, in bulk. So basically I had to do it one by one hitting delete. So obviously that's kind of annoying but with the file manager app, I could actually find the folder in which those recordings are stored. So in this case, it's recordings, as you'd expect. And I could actually delete as many as I want uh, in bulk. So I just have to hit the select button up here. And uh, if you're using another manager, um, you know you, you might have to press menu or otherwise it'd be somewhere else. But anyway, uh, most of them have this functionality where you can hit select and select things in bulk. So as you can see, I've selected nine recordings. I can just hit delete and uh, delete them off my phone. I could also copy and cut them and uh, move them from one folder, for example, to another. So I'll just go ahead and back out of here. So that's just one example. Another example is you could rename your albums uh, for your pictures. And I've made another video about this. So if you wanted to hide a album, all you have to do is put a dot in front of the album name uh, from showing up in your picture gallery. So anyway, if I wanted to do that for this album in particular, I could just press and hold on it, hit rename, and rename it right there. So you can't really do that unless you have uh, a file manager app. And you know, there's a whole bunch of other functions uh, or other ways in which this is useful. So uh, another example is I've downloaded apps on Google Play before, didn't like them, uninstall them. The thing is, uh, when you uninstall it, it doesn't always clear out all the data associated with the app. So um, sometimes there'll be a folder that the app created, like the folders over here, that you know are just kind of left over um, even though I don't have the app anymore, which takes up space on my phone. So if you don't have a file manager app, you won't ever know that it's on there. And second of all, you won't be able to do anything about it. But with this app, you know, you could just press and hold on a folder. So say for example, I wanted to delete uh, this gym rat data folder, which I don't because I actually use that app. But say I did, I will just hit delete and uh, delete it off my phone and save myself how much room uh, or however much room that app was taking. And speaking of how much room it was taking, you actually see that by scrolling down to the properties and it'll actually tell you there's 564 files within that uh, folder and it takes up a total of 10.53 megabytes. So just lets you get a lot more detailed information too about the files on your phone. But that's pretty much it. Um, you know, the main purposes of the file manager apps are to select things in bulk, to uh, explore what's on your phone. You could also, if you're rooted, you could actually go into the settings and see your root directory. So let's go ahead and enable that really quick and show you what that looks like. So you press up, and this is actually the main files uh, of your whole Android phone. So it's not just what's on your SD card or your storage. And uh, you can't really do anything as far as editing these unless you have root permissions. But if you do, um, it lets you do a lot of things like deleting stock apps. And I've made videos uh, on doing that on phonebuff.com if you're interested. But that's pretty much it for me in this video. Just wanted to give you guys a quick walkthrough and show you guys the value of having a file manager. All right, if you found it helpful, hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to visit phonebuff.com for more cell phone news, reviews, and how-tos. Thank you.